Small claims court is a do-it-yourself court where people can handle their own cases, whichever side they're on. Small claims court allows people to settle their differences in cases worth anywhere up to $25,000. It has less formal and less complicated rules and procedures than Supreme Court. In order to proceed with your case in British Columbia's small claims court, you will need to use standard court forms. This video tutorial provides general information on how to use the forms you need. It does not provide specific information that you will need to enter into the forms, nor legal advice. Instead, this video describes how to use Small Claims Court forms. On smallclaimsbc.ca, you can click the Forms Navigation tab to see a list of Small Claims Court forms. In addition, all Small Claims Court forms can be found on the BC Ministry of Attorney General's website. Currently, there are two types of forms available for Small Claims Court. Some forms are PDF documents, and others use the Filing Assistant to guide you through the process of completing the form. Let's start by looking at the forms that are available as PDF documents. There are two ways to complete forms that are PDF documents. You can simply print the form, complete it manually, and then file it to the appropriate courthouse registry, or if your documents are not time sensitive, you can mail it in. With this approach, be sure to print clearly in all required fields. You can also complete the form online by typing in the highlighted areas. This warning message lets you know that you cannot save the form. You can only print it. Click Close to proceed. For new claims, you will not have a registry file number yet. It is assigned by the court registry when you file your notice of claim. If you are completing another form once your claim is started, you would insert your registry file number here. Next, enter the registry location where you will file the form or the registry where you filed your notice of claim. A complete list of court registry locations is available on the website www.provincialcourt.bc.ca. If you are filing the claim, you are the claimant. Provide your name and address here. The defendant is the person or organization against whom you are bringing your claim. Provide this information here. Once you have completed the form, you should print it, sign it, and file it at a provincial courthouse registry or mail it in. All of the small claims court forms can be completed this way. So to review, for all PDF document forms, you can select the form, print it, complete it manually before signing and dating it if necessary, or you can select the form, type directly into the form, print it, sign it, and date it if necessary. The most common small claims court forms provide the option of using the filing assistant to complete the forms. The filing assistant guides you through each form, providing information to help you complete the form correctly. The filing assistant will generate completed forms based on the answers you provide during the process. Here is a list of the small claims forms that enable you to use the filing assistant. The notice of claim form is used to start your small claims court claim, so we are going to use this form as an example. I'll fill out a sample form to show you what the process looks like. As an example, let's say that Mr. Smith is suing Mr. Jones and his company, Easy Plumbing Incorporated, for defective repairs to the plumbing in his home. Begin by clicking on the blue file button to the right of the notice of claim form link. This will open the main filing assistant page. At any time during the process, you can track your progress by following the navigation that appears in the column beside the form. On some forms, like this one, the navigation is on the left side, while on the other forms, there is a column to the right side of the page. 
notice that the How to Use step is highlighted in the progress list. When it comes to filling the forms, the first several steps will always ask you for the same basic details about your claim. The filing assistant will guide you through these same steps on each form before asking for more specific details. On some forms below the progress list, you will find a tools menu. It gives you the option of saving your filing, opening a filing that you've previously saved, or printing your form. These options are available to you at any point in the process. Navigating the Filing Assistant service is easy. To advance to the next section, enter the required information and click on the Next button at the bottom of the page. If you need to return to a previous step, click the Back button. Alternatively, you can click on a previous step in the progress list, but remember that whatever information you have on your current page will not be saved until you click the Next button at the bottom of the page. If you need help, click the blue question mark icons for assistance or consult the Frequently Asked Questions section available on some forms. If there are no fields to fill, go ahead and click Next. The Getting Started page will briefly explain what information you should be ready to provide as you move ahead in the process. To start filling your form, click Start to move to the Who Are You step. The Who Are You page asks you to name the individuals or organizations that are bringing the case to court. Click the Add Individual or Add Organization button and enter their details. Click Next to save each entry. If you need to add more than one individual or organization, you can do so by repeating the process. Again, click Add Individual or Add Organization, fill in the required fields, and click Next. A list of claimants that you have entered will be created below. You can edit, remove, or view claimants by clicking on the button under the corresponding column. Once you have completed your list of claimants, click Next. The Who Are You Suing step asks you to name one or more defendants against whom you are bringing your claim. Organizations may be listed as defendants. Click on the Add Individual or Add Organization button and fill in the required information like you did for the claimants. You can add multiple parties by repeating the process as many times as needed. Some after-judgment forms, such as a garnishing order after judgment, use creditor and debtor when referring to parties. Please note that claimant and defendant are terms used to describe parties before a judgment. Typically, after proceedings, if the claimant wins the case, they are known as the creditor and the defendant, who likely owes some money, is known as the debtor. Once you have completed your list of defendants, click Next. The next six sections, starting with What Happened, have information that relates specifically to the Notice of Claim form. To complete these sections, follow the instructions on the page. If you need more help, you can click on the blue question mark icons or review the Frequently Asked Questions where available. For the Notice of Claim, you would complete each of these sections in order to move on. Once you have done this, you get to the Finish section, which is common to all Filing Assistant forms. The Finish page will give you several options. You can preview the form, save the form, or take a survey. You can click Preview your filing and review the information on the form. You should make sure that you've entered all of your information correctly before printing your form. Then hit Print at the top of your page. For another way to print your form, click on Save your filing, then save it to your computer, and print it from the file on your computer. When you file a Notice of Claim in Small Claims Court, 
you will need to send the defendant a copy of it. This is called serving the document. Once you've served the form, you need to complete the Certificate of Service, which documents that the defendant has received a copy of the Notice of Claim. Finally, deliver both your forms to the court registry or mail it in. In order to move your case forward in Small Claims Court, you will need to use standard court forms. This video has introduced you to two types of forms for Small Claims Court in BC. For PDF forms, you can complete a printed copy or fill one in online and then print it. Filing assistant forms are completed with the assistant guiding you through the process. All of the forms are available on smallclaimsbc.ca or on the Ministry of Attorney General's website. There are fees associated with filing court forms and these are listed in Schedule A of Small Claims Court Rules. To view a list of these fees, click here. For further information and help to complete Small Claims Court forms, read the procedural guides.